Let's talk about doing a dual PC live stream using SteelSeries Sonar. Now before we get into this video, if you are not familiar with this software, you need to go and watch the video. I'll provide a link down in the description below. This is a full overview of Sonar, including how I have it set up for all of my different devices going into each of the mix channels. You need to do that because I do not cover that in this dual PC video. So as a prerequisite, pause this video, go watch the other one. So you can have a full understanding of the software before you come into this one. Because I do not want people to say I did not cover something in video when I have a full video that actually covers that and more. So please go watch that first if you are unfamiliar with the software. If you've already watched the video, then you should understand it. But if you would need to go watch it as a refresher, it's there, link in the description below. All right, before we get started, let's talk about what you're gonna to need to be able to do this. You are gonna to have to buy some cables and a ground loop isolator. So a ground loop isolator simply just this little device that has a 3.5 millimeter cable coming off of it. And what that's going to do is it's going to filter any noise that you may be getting from your sound card. A lot of people actually get this, so it's pretty normal. But these are really cheap. You can get them on Amazon, super cheap. And then you will need a double male 3.5 millimeter stereo cable that you will then plug into this isolator. And then you'll send that over to your streaming PC. Now let's talk about how we're gonna set this up so that you're gonna get audio to your line out or your speaker out on your sound card so that it can go through this isolator and this cable to your stream PC. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna have to go old school with Windows 11 or Windows 10. And you need to open up Control Panel. Uh, you can do a search and type in Control Panel. It will bring it up. And when you do so, then you'll need to go to Sound. And this is gonna bring up your playback and your record devices. Then what you're going to do is you're going to open up the line in by clicking on it. Then you're going to go to the listen tab. All right, first you're going to check, listen to this device. Okay. When you do that, you're going to go to playback through this device and you're going to select the gaming virtual input for SteelSeries Sonar. And what that's going to do is that's going to then route your line in audio into this SteelSeries Sonar mixer through the game channel. And then you can use the gaming processing or whatever else you want to do right there in that channel and then also control the levels for your stream mix. Obviously the easiest way to route audio to the stream piece is just using the standard Windows routing like I just showed you by doing the listen through this device and using uh, the gaming virtual device to your line out. But you can also use SteelSeries Sonar on your game PC, which is currently what I'm doing, because then you can route specific games to the gaming channel, which then you don't have to worry about all of your other audio going to your line out. You can just have the gaming audio. So now let's go over to the other PCs and we'll show you how I have my stream set up using audio through SteelSeries Sonar on the game and streaming PC. All right, so if you decide to use SteelSeries Sonar like I do on your gaming PC, this is how I have it set up so that I can get audio to my live stream on the stream PC. All right, so under master, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to set your stream mix to your speaker output. All right, so this is the green port on your sound card on your gaming PC. All right, so then all of your stream mix will then go to Sonar, including Master, Game, Chat, any of these virtual devices that you have set up inside of Sonar. Okay, and it's that easy. All right, on the streaming PC now. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, go to sound, open up your record devices, and I have the line in. All right, so line in here, select it, and go to the listen tab, and here I have listen to device, and then play back through this device, going to the still series sonar gaming virtual device and that's going to now send any game pc audio that i have selected to the stream mix over there into this game channel all right and you'll notice that if you have it selected you'll have this uh, svc host uh app you know selected inside of game okay and that's that'll tell you that it's there and it should be working all right so now you can go in and you can then mix your game audio or any of the audio coming from the game PC on the stream mix into this channel, okay? 
So it's that's actually really easy to set up. And then now it's just a matter of going in and setting up all the rest of your devices. So for instance, for my master, I have my gaming headphones. That is in my personal mix. My stream mix is going to the SteelSeries Sonar stream. That is the now your stream mix that will now go to, to your OBS. And that will be all of your audio in one channel in OBS that you don't have to worry about mixing a bunch of stuff because you can mix it all inside of Sonar, okay? And then for your microphone, of course, I have my dynamic mic I'm talking in right now, this uh, Mayano PD400X. And then it's just a matter of setting up your virtual channels for your different things, whether it be chat for Discord or TeamSpeak, whatever you use, media for, say, uh, Spotify for your music or Amazon or any of the music apps you use. And then you would have a stream mix that you can then send over to your OBS or whatever broadcast software you use, whether it be Streamlabs, vMix, uh, uh, Prism Live Studio, Studio, or Twitch Studio, any of those. Uh, you could use this Stream Mix Audio to then, you know, be inside of OBS and it just makes things a lot simpler. Now, what you would need to do if you want to monitor this, you can actually select this little ear at the uh, lower right of your master here, and that will then send a you know, your monitor mix to your headphones so that you can listen to what your stream mix sounds like. And then you can adjust levels as necessary so that you know that you have a proper mix going to OBS or again, Streamlabs, whatever. It is that simple. All right, there's some extra things that I wanted to talk about. For instance, on my game PC, right, I have studio monitors. My studio monitors I use to mix and process audio for my videos and I want to be able to listen to that and I use my stream PC to do all the processing. So how do I get my audio from the stream PC back over to the studio monitors, which is on the game PC? Okay, well I do that through the line out coming from the stream PC and going into the line in on my game PC, pretty much the reverse of what I just did for the game PC going to the stream PC. All right, so you again would need another 3.5 millimeter cable and another uh, ground loop isolator to then go from stream PC to game PC. That's gonna ensure that you have nice clean audio. And you're asking, well, why do you have your studio monitors on your game PC? Well, it's because I'm also sending my microphone over to the game PC and I'm doing that because it's a dual microphone, USB and XLR, and my audio interface that controls the studio monitors and the XLR uh, input for the microphone is on the game PC. So now I have a microphone that I, you know, a single microphone that I can have going to USB on the stream PC and XLR on the game PC. So that's kind of why I did that. Uh, and that little extra functionality of sending uh, my stream mix from my stream PC back over to the game PC allows me to listen to music. It allows me to watch videos. It allows me to uh, then, you know, listen to any audio for any of the videos that I'm working on through my studio monitors, I don't have to wear headphones. So, and it makes it nice. Or if I decide I wanna play a game, I do have the studio monitors on my game PC. I could just play through studio monitors instead of wearing headphones. So it just gives me a lot of flexibility. I know most of you probably will not do that, but I just wanted to explain that real quick also. But other than that, listen, I appreciate y'all watching this video. I know it took me a while to get this out. I hope that you can get this set up on your own game PC and stream PC. And if you have any issues, please let me know. Again, I'll try to help you out best I can. Just comment below. But other than that, if you like this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. I appreciate you stopping in and watching. And I would love to see you be part of the community as about 75% of you do not subscribe to the channel. I'd love you to be part of the TFS community. So hit that subscribe button and click the bell for notifications. You'll know when I have a video that goes live. Other than that, y'all have a great day. We'll see you later.